keep staying together. We getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's and, right. and, and united we stand. Bad was going to happen. Happen. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I've done. Seems like it's the first time that Diddy was not invited to party with everyone else and word is on the street that this is just the beginning of his cancellation in the showbiz in addition to spending lonely evenings at home while the rest of his gang is partying. And here's even more revelations. Apparently his guardian angel, Clive Davis, might be clocking out early. Inviting other music bigwigs to follow his example, the world decided to throw Diddy to the wolves. And while Clive Davis made it clap, are that Diddy is still VIP no matter what the rest of the industry didn't seem to catch the message some of other music heavy lifters, like Jay-Z allegedly claimed that don't want to stain their reputation by seeing side by side with the disgraced music mole people color. I think I pull the most satisfaction from that word on the street is Jay-Z went full on cancel culture, his traditional preg gammy brunch. He got it canceled apparently as one insider leaked the juicy tit hibbits they couldn't fake. He wrote out how to uninvite Diddy, especially when Clive Davis was still planning to roll up as his plus one. Now Jay Z is making sure everyone in the industry has to choose between him and Diddy. And while he knows when to bail on a sinking ship, the music producer also wants the others to follow his example. Every year he invites industry insiders to join us for a celebration of the highest elevation of self. It's been speculated that the cancellation of Jay-Z and Beyonce's Preg Grammy brunch is nothing. More than a powerful reminder to Clive Davis that he's no longer in charge of the showbiz narrative, apparently Clive didn't rush to cancel D.Y. for his crimes and all the allegations swirling around and Jay-Z wasn't having any of it. People of color. I, th I think I pull the most satisfaction from that. Rock Nation had been hosting the brunch since 2011. And while it's attended by all music sisters, this cannot compete with Clive Davis's annual bash that he hosted since 1973. Apparently, there's a clash of powers in the music industry, and every prominent figure needs to make. A choice about Diddy's position industry insiders have been speculating about whether party regular scene comms will be at Clyde's as he battles more allegation. A source familiar with the guest list told Puffy is perennially invited. Ided to the party he's always on the list, the streets are buzzing that Diddy and Clive Davis thought they had a golden ticket to the Grammys. But apparently Jay-Z doesn't want them to put his name next to this mess the block is hot, and Jay-Z keeps his distance by refusing to go anywhere unless it is. A Diddy-free zone. Right, because the, the mistakes you made, you can't, you're making mistakes in front of the whole world. It's a funny play of powers and influence that we are watching unfold. But for Diddy, it's concerning because his only lifeline's Ron Burkle, and Clive Davis might be reevaluating their investment after Jay Z's actions now that Dids cut off from the music scene collaborations, and artists aren't that eager to work with him. Diddy's facing a real issue. But folks, you may be naive if you expected he to go down alone. The word is he's 100, the word is he's 100 set on taking as many people down with him. Possible why, well, if fingers are pointing in different directions and more big secrets about the industry giants are exposed, it might make his own crimes look less severe or fade from public memory. And you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're going to have complications. Period. It may be just the final PR attempt to save his image as everything around him continues to crumble. But the things Diddy is being accused of are so bad that there's absolutely nothing and I mean nothing anyone could say to make the public forget about what he's done Diddy maintains his innocence. Claiming he hasn't done anything wrong or horrible while Cassie and others have different stories, Diddy says he's looking forward to his day in court. In his statement, he claims sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. However, there's another fear creeping up on him, one that he's genuinely scared of. It's the fact that Diddy's fortune appears to be built on smoke and mirrors. Yep, you heard it right. Despite his substantial net worth, his wealth is ashing with more career damage and lawsuits. On one hand, this might explain why he's dragging his feet with settlements, especially at. Darkassi took a significant chunk of his wealth. You know, help me clear this up. What would the you lot know, say? Like, I spoke to the lot. Yeah, I told the lot. They gonna help me clear it up. Yeah. And folks, if you think that Diddy will use the help of his billionaire friends, it seems like there's no one to throw him a life boy one after another. His former friends are turning his back on him. 
And many people are already counting the days before the whole industry dirt is exposed as one person. Commented Hollywood is going down all these parties don't even make sense anymore. And another user added Diddy needs to do a remix of Chris Brown's song, Loyal All of Diddy's so-called buddies disappear. Ed you see insiders now claim that one reason why Diddy's victims never pursued him in a legal battle is that he had so much money that he could effortlessly evade any legal consequences and destroy his opponent reputation without serious damage to his wealth. Puff paid too quick. Yeah. That's was the Puff paid too quick. I, I think quick. that actually made him look more guilty. The perception was that Diddy's wealth was insurmountable and seeking justice would be an uphill battle now. With the industry's giants openly throwing him under the bus, the music mogul fears that the illusion of his financial might might crumble it seems like he simply lacks the the suspension funds to mount a defense against numerous legal challenges. It's never been revelated how much he paid Cassie, but it looks like parting with such a huge sum was a substantial blow to the music mogul in his pocket now as other victims of his crime sensed his vulnerability and finally went after him. He's about to give away the remnants of his wealth. This is actually the third lawsuit in as much time levied against comes even before four women accused him of misconduct Diddy was having a challenge. Year he had ambitious plans for one of his business ideas but the $185 million deal to acquire the operations of two major companies in multiple states fell through around the same time he explored acquiring. In Paramount Global's bet the first black-owned cable network as part of a grand plan to establish a black-owned global media powerhouse, unfortunately in August Paramount, withdrew the network from the market following the setback Diddy focused on his music career and released his love album off the grid featuring a list collaborators like Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, John Legend, and Mary J. Blige. He had one purpose when he was his doing bad boy, and now he's got a whole new purpose. It was his first song. O's studio project since 2006, but despite the star studded lineup, the album peaked at number 19 on the Billboard 200 chart, marking it as his worst performing record. Now folks have been side eyeing Diddy for ages, labeling him a second tier rapper and a mediocre producer. The vet tabloids and music critics went full shade, mentioning his rather creepy conversation with a female protege on intermission and labeling the entire things as oddly dissatisfying return been sipping from the drama cup attempting to build a black-owned media empire and come back a new man with a new nan. But the thing is the industry doesn't want him back and even his longtime mentor Clive Davis has no power to stop this epic downfall to Diddy who continues to face a renewed criticism after settling it seems like the saga with Diddy's cancellation was planned all before Cassie's lawsuits. You see, folks, 2023 was simply the worst year for the music mogul he eyed Paramount Global's bet aiming to create a powerhouse, but oops, para. Mount pulled the plug and left Diddy high and dry. The struggles continued as his love album Off the Grid featuring a listers took a note of on the charts. Someone get him a life vest because that's one sinking ship and it all became worse with the lawsuit Sega Diddy like the drama maggot accused the world's largest liquor company Deo of racism and hoped to mint more cash on this lawsuit. However, the company decided to end his contract with him. Mr. Com's bad faith actions have clearly breached his co contracts and left us no choice but to move to dismiss his baseless complaint and end our business relationship looks like Diddy desperately needs some money and he thought that his lawsuit would be the golden ticket to his billiard dreams but there's no one in the industry to help him. It's something about me that has him on me all the time and I'm not going nowhere. Even his powerful PALs like Jay-Z and Beyonce throw shade by canceling their preg Grammy brunch. The streets are buzzing that it was. As a calculated move to keep Diddy at bay, seems like even those in his inner circle are second-guessing this mogul's wild ride, and many people have a good idea why, as one person commented, they can't try to disassociate themselves with him. Now they're all one big puppet gang and another user added. They need to bring the whole industry down, just not Diddy Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Clive Davis, all of them well. The start of the year brought nothing but more troubles for the music mogul and his longtime pales. From show business are turning their backs on him one after another. But folks, what do you think about all this as Diddy being cancelled by his own kind? And what are the chances that he will start dragging the rest of the industry with him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to 
check my other videos.